Hello and welcome! I am Triple Helix and this is a creepy horrorish indie game known as Paranormal. And I'm sure at least some of you may have heard of it because it was on it was a free game for a while, and the developer Matt Cohen has updated it and put it up for sale for like I think ten dollars on Desura, and it currently has a green light campaign going. So if you like this game, go support it on green light and all that stuff. I personally have not played this game at all because if I want to, you know, keep all the scares and stuff fresh so that way I can sort of voice maybe better opinions, I don't know. I figured that it's better to go into horror games without knowing anything. Also, quick just short sort of update for the channel. I was very much intending to do a first impressions video of The Last of Us, although that is not going to happen now because... I've already finished the game, and pretty much there's no point where I can play it and feel like it's not going to be spoiling a whole ton of stuff. So, just, you know, go off like the 2710s it has. I don't think I need to do the game any more help. It's making it in every respect of the word. So, without further ado, let's uh, start this game here. Now, from what I remembered, is this was a relatively well-polished indie game, and I... From what I heard, it was pretty scary and one of the creepier things that had shown up. And what is this here? Uh, tape version. I don't know. I guess I'll go with quick because it's I like things Friday, that are fast. July 1st, oh, he's talking. Hello, my name is Mattel Clark. I'm an artist, and I've come to believe that my house is haunted. Lately, things have been going bump in the night. A lot. So, I've set up cameras around my studio, and I've got one here, and I've started recording things to try and prove to people that I'm not going crazy. This is the studio. Um, this is where the magic happens. Uh, don't mind the posing mannequins. I picked those up at Amazon. They help me visualize the 3D space when I'm working on my sculptures. There's some works in progress over there on the mat. Hopefully something will happen here in a second. I'm really trying to show that this is real and that I'm not trying to get famous on the internet. Okay, so they've added a, a story to it. They actually hadn't done that before. There was no actually introduction or story to it. And so... Pretty much, there doesn't mean I don't need to explain too much. This guy, um, in his house, he's been see he's been hearing things in the night. He's been seeing sort of creepy things happen, and so he's gonna record it to try and prove that he's not going crazy. At least that's what I can get from it. But there doesn't need to be that much of a story. Just some good scares and stuff. And so far, there's not. Whoa. Okay. What I was about to say is, like, this game isn't really particularly scary right now. Uh, it does that. Now, the real, the big question is how long will it stay, will it scare to stay fresh? Is in, you know, how long can it keep making you jump? Because after a certain period of time, it just becomes more of a, well, yeah, you've been throwing, like, 30 jump scares at me in a row, buddy. I don't really care anymore. It's not that scary. It was scary, like, the first three or four times you did it, but after that, it just got, you know, too typical. Were these here before? I don't know. Am I stuck on the stairs? Can I not get down? Okay. That was, um... So... Graphically, this game actually is... Not terrible. They're definitely... I could have sworn I remember seeing it better, but it actually is pretty okay. What is that? August 11th, 1984. I'm not alone in this house. I can feel Marcus watching. He knows right, I'm just going to skip this because, um... So yeah, there's actually a bit of a interesting story in this, apparently. I didn't know that. And I'm, I'm doing my best to sort of commentate on this as sort of, um first impressions or review, but it's kind of hard in horror games, because you just begin to focus on, you know, what's going to scare me next. 
Uh, well, if my guy would stop moving his head, I could actually see. Uh, yeah, I can't read that because he keeps moving his head and it keeps blurring over, so. I would just not pay attention to it. This guy definitely has a pretty big house. Uh, Gameplay-wise, I'm not really sure where it goes. Is if there's like a score or something? I think, from what I remember about the free version, is there was a score, or at least what I've heard. Because I really shouldn't be talking about the free version too much because I never played it. So I was like, oh, it's like another scary game, and I actually did not get into scary games for a while when there was a ton of them, Slender, Amnesia, and all that stuff had already existed. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna play Amnesia. I don't know. He has a can. Just uh, drain all that water away. Or not. So, what's gonna pop out at me next? Oh, wait, my phone's ringing. Probably go pick that up. Who's calling? Hello. Hello. Uh, is this Mattel? Dr. Powell? Yes, hi. I'm calling you to discuss what I've determined about your situation. What you described to me is a classic case of a poltergeist presence. A haunting, if you will. You described moving objects, noises at night, things like that. Great. The battery's low. Oh, it's I can at least charge worse. it by my bed Whatever when I'm sleeping is, tonight. Happy that I'm here. And some serious shit has been happening. I see. Okay, I'm not going to be down here anymore. I don't really care what this doctor's saying. So there's actually a story in this game now, apparently. And, you know, that's that's pretty good. Because every game makes good stories. And also, the mannequins. I never understood whether they were in his house in the free version. Because I just kept seeing uh, screenshots of those everywhere. And I was like, well, what are those for? Why does he have those? It's because he's an artist. Which would also explain... Hi there. Which would also explain why his house is so big. Okay, it says to go sleep to, in my bed, but where do I sleep? Probably over here somewhere, right? That is not in the slightest bit, slightest bit creepy, that painting. Uh, get away from my bed. Leave me alone. Okay, I'm a little bit creeped out. So I'm just going to go to bed and charge the camera. So that way I can... Oh, this is new too. Yeah, no, this, uh, they used to have this. It used to just be, you slept and then you woke up. Now, do I actually have to sit through all of this, or can I just skip this in some way? Uh, no, not escape. Alright then, so... What's this gonna say? M. A. R. C. U. S. Yeah, Marcus. Is that my name? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I probably should have been paying attention to this story. Close the door on myself. But, oh wait, it's Michael Jackson. But, the, the atmosphere is definitely sort of creepy. And, I haven't been particularly scared yet. Although, I've sort of been jaded by every, like, all the horror games that I've begun to play lately. So, um, even, like, Amnesia is becoming less and less scary. Like, I can... Stare in the face of monsters and not be creeped out at all. Okay, Bob, stop moving. Although it definitely is really sort of creepy to see all these things happen or just to hear a banging on the door when you're not looking. Okay, uh, I'm back now. Had to bump up the brightness a little bit because it was very dark and I couldn't see anything. So, and I'd actually like to see some of the stuff that's trying to haunt me rather than just hearing noises. I love how in any games the doorknobs always like don't fit the doors properly. You know. 
What's in here? It's making the camera do that. Oh, so that's it? Did I die? Okay. Yeah, I'm sort of confused. Did I just die there or what? I guess I've sort of died. Is there any way that I can just exit now? Yes, okay. So I think I've died there. I'm going to give this a second shot. Hopefully not be as terrible. I didn't even know you could die. I don't think you could die in the indie game. I thought it was just you were supposed to run around and be haunted and try not to have your battery down or get too scared or something. Uh, can I just skip this? Is there, like, is there an option to skip? It's uh, Friday, July 1st. Uh, no, sadly. Oh, yes, you can. Just hit enter, of course. Oh, hey, and look. All the controls that I didn't pay attention to. Oh, it's because... Oh, it's because this is built for... Um... Apparently built more for this is built for a control pad too. So people with control pads. Hey, look, Vista or not Vista? It's Windows Seven. There we go, brain. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I haven't recorded anything in uh, a considerable amount of time, like probably a couple weeks, and I'm very tired and a bit out of practice. So if this video isn't like very great. I humbly apologize, but I wanted to, I just wanted to play this game and get it done with because horror games aren't always necessarily my thing. So, the less time I have to spend with this game, probably the better for my sanity. Is there anything? Uh, let's look in the mirror, can I see myself? Uh, a little bit. Not really that much of a reflection. That is the most shiny sink I have ever seen in my entire life. It's like chrome or something. Why does my guy keep shaking his head? I don't know. That, there's no question that that's mercury in the toilet. You should probably actually put water in there and not, you know, just melted mercury. I also, this, this game seems to follow the weird sort of horror, um, game that involved cameras. Um, gimmick where you, the person recording, gets the camera with the least amount of battery possible. You gonna fall over? There we go. So the invisible wall goes away. And I hear the climbing, somebody climbing stairs, but I don't know where that is. Can I leave the house? Is that an option? Turn off the light. Does it do anything? Uh, not really. Can I go in? Okay. We just had. Jesus raised back from the dead. Oh. Alright, well that genuinely creeped me out. Is there anything else in here? That I can find before I get killed? Yeah, I'm, I'm getting creeped out by this game. So. That might not be saying much. Although, I don't get creeped out by much. You're not too scared by much. Just... Yeah, this is... It's creepy. It's very creepy. It's not throwing jump scares in your face all the time, so it's not like it ever gets too overdone. I wish my guy would stop moving his head. I wish there was... I think there, there's, probably, there's probably an option for that, but I just don't know where it is. I'm not going to be bothered to look for it. Oh, that guy's blocking my door. That guy's blocking my way out of the house now. Great. Did I check in here yet? Uh, no, I did not. Uh, mannequin face... Car's lights are going nuts. Can I not get in my car and just drive out the, with the door? Now, if your house is haunted, I would recommend just leaving. That's generally a pretty good... Don't know what that was. That radio. What was that? Okay, I'm going to get out of here now. Ooh, I'm getting genuinely creeped out by this. Okay. So, uh, first impressions, first impressions. Creepy game. Um, graphics are, uh, not as good as I thought they would be. Batteries are getting low. Uh, I better charge it when I go to bed tonight. Uh, get out of my way. Um, I could have sworn they were better, but maybe that's just because it was a screenshot, and of course they make the screenshots better. But, 
Uh, this is very, it's, it's creepy. I don't know about replayability because it seems like the scares are sort of the same. Although I haven't played it for a long enough period of time, so I'm not going to actually say anything about that. I can say that the gameplay is fun, but I don't really... I'm not sure... Okay, hi. I'm not sure what the overarching goal is in terms of, you know, why you would want to play or why you would want to keep playing other than to just see all the scares. Oh, now I can actually see this. Now, I'm not sure how this is going to show up on YouTube because I know that brightness is always an issue on that. Is always an issue on that. Uh, I'm going to try and do as much as I can with it, but it could just be that my monitor is really, um, really dark, so, or makes everything really dark, so I'll just, uh, it could just be me. Come on, wake up so that way something doesn't kill me in my sleep. Again, I didn't even know I could die. Can I use the Ouija board? Yes, I can. So you can spell the same thing. D. I. Oh, don't go to an E. Yep, that's an E. Get out. Out, 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 out. Put it back and get away. Go. Okay. I keep hearing doors closed and I just don't know where, where it's from. Also, was that guy always out there? I don't know. Generally in these games, I tend to creep myself out more. Uh, well, I don't know if the code is to my, how, how do I not know the code to my, to my own save? Okay then. But I, when I play these sort of games, I generally creep myself out more because I'm just preparing myself for jump scares. And then when I finally let my guard down, they get me with a jump scare. Which seems to be what this game is doing. And when games do that... And when games do that, it's genuinely pretty good. Woo. Okay. Not sure what that was all about. I don't want to be out here. What am I doing? Should I go into the room where I died last, or should I stay out of there? Uh, I'm just going to stay out of there because I walk into that direction and I get really like just a terrible feeling in the pit of my stomach. Is there anything in the kitchen worth seeing? My house is really big and yet there's not that much haunting going on. My house is evil with a bloody handprint. And it looks like leaves. It's like lining the floor. Anything in the fridge? No, I can't tell. Oh, that thing is on fire. Should I turn that off? Ooh, hey. Whoa! What's going on? All right, that's creepy. Uh, get out! 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 Whoo! That's creepy. What is this? Well, it's gone now. Not a problem anymore. Uh, no. That's the thing that I don't want to be near because that killed me. Maybe it's not that guy that killed me, but it's that sound that killed me. Oh, it's a doctor again. I'm not. I'm just gonna ignore the doctor. He's gonna tell me I'm crazy, but I'm not crazy. I'm recording it. See? Ooh. What's going on? Um. That was confusing, but okay. <sighs> just breathe. Deep breaths. Ah, <laughs> uh, stop wiggling your head. It's the worst thing to do when recording. I mean, I'm sure that he's rec it's trying to like mimic the movement of the camera, but it's just annoying. We're not going for realism here. We're going for like scares, and this game has succeeded so far. So in uh, I in terms of first impressions on this, I I can't go and say that this is an immediate must buy, only for the sheer fact of I'm not entirely sure. Like other than the couple trophies that it said there were. I'm not entirely sure, like, what reason you would ever have for playing this game again. Or wanting to, like, repeatedly play it after you've seen a lot of the scares. Especially considering that the scares seem to be in the same place, more or less. But, you know, teach his own. And also, 
Um, in terms of just the scariness of it in general, it's pretty scary. And I don't know how many scares there are. There could be a lot. So I'd say that this is like, if you, if you like what you're seeing right now, then you'll probably like this game. At least in my opinion, anyway. You'll probably, yeah, yeah, there's really, uh, I'm really trying to think just purely objectively. Like I personally don't sleep. Okay. I'm creeped out. Is that supposed to be blood? I don't even know. But personally, I don't generally play these games, and when I do, I've become a little bit jaded by all the scares that I've seen. And on top of that, just... For me, especially these types of horror games are very common. And, you know... I, in terms of better ones out there, yeah, there's, I definitely say Amnesia is really scary. What is that? Ooh. Oh, that's creepy. All right. <clears throat> I've tripped and fallen. I'm okay now. But, uh, yeah, this is a very scary game, and if you just want to go buy it, I think it's like 10 bucks for the scares. I'd say that it's worth it for you, but if you're just, if you're looking for like a, a rich gameplay experience or um, an interesting take on the horror genre, I'd say look elsewhere. Although it definitely is very fun. And also if you're looking for like hours and hours and hours of entertainment, I'm not sure how long this will keep you entertained because I'm not sure like just the sheer magnitude of all the scares that there are, but I do know for a fact that, oh yeah, avoid him. I do know for a fact that it's not doesn't seem particularly replayable because all the scares seem to be more or less around the same spot or at least the same sort of scares so overall I'd say that if you like what you're seeing good game to buy if you're looking at this thinking like well I'm not sure if you're leaning more in the direction of buying it probably buy it just to experience some of the scares that it has if you're leaning more in the direction of, oh, I'm looking for a really interesting horror game, like I really want a good horror game, I'd say go elsewhere. Amnesia, Slender, which is still, which is free. I don't know if the free version of this still exists, but I'm sure that that's, I'm sure that that's still scary. Somebody sent me mail. I heard the voice from my computer. What is it? Whoa. Okay. Those are some creepy images. I'm very stuck. I can't get out of this thing right now. Can I? Is this like a cutscene or something? Um, I guess I'll just sit here and wait. Not much else I can do. Uh, yeah, just small little like look at the thing. Be creeped out by it. So, with that, I think I'm gonna go commit suicide because I'm not really sure how else to end this game. Yep, I'm coming for you, buddy. Hi there. Ah, they're screeching. My ears. My ears, they're bleeding. Put me out of my misery. And there we go. And I believe that will do it for my impressions of this game. Uh, uh I'm going to just apologize right now. I know this video isn't going to be very great. Just considering that I'm not really good with horror games or good commenting on horror games and I'm especially and especially since I haven't been doing this for a couple weeks I'm a bit out of practice with this but anyways you know like and subscribe if you somehow enjoy this contest is going on read the description for more information free indie game on Steam for the winner and until next time this is Triple Helix signing off